We now laud Henry Foles as a pioneer of the identification of people through fingerprints, but he wasn't as recognised in his time and was quite bitter about it. But the man will always remain a legend. Born on the 1st of June 1843 in North Ayrshire, he became a missionary and in 1873 went to Japan where he founded and then became the surgeon superintendent of Tuskegee Hospital in Tokyo. He was super intelligent. He became fluent in Japanese, taught at the local university and founded the Tokyo Institute for the Blind. But he wasn't one to just sit around. He then became interested in archaeological digs and started noticing the fingerprints on ancient shards of pottery. He went on to examine his own fingerprints and those of his friends and became convinced that the pattern of ridges was unique to each individual. Now, the method of identifying criminals by their fingerprints had already been introduced in the 1860s by Sir William James Herschel in India. Now, Foles used his own technique to help exonerate a suspect by showing that the prints left at the crime scene were not the same as those of the suspects. He wanted to develop his theories about the forensic use of fingerprints and wrote to Charles Darwin, who then forwarded on to statistician and kind of egocentric tool, Francis Gilton. Now, in 1880, Foles published a paper in Nature magazine on fingerprints. He observed that they could be used to catch criminals and suggested how this could be done. But it wasn't too long before Sir William Herschel published his own letter in Nature. He reiterated that he'd been using fingerprints as a method of signature since 1860. Now, this would lead the two men to be at loggerheads for years. Folds even dismissed that Herschel ever used fingerprints officially. However, Herschel had proof. So, anywho. In 1886, Folds returned to Britain and offered his fingerprinting system to Scotland Yard. They did decline the offer, but that's due to the lack of evidence that Folds provided. So Folds gave up on fingerprinting and returned to work as a police surgeon. Fast forward two years later, and fingerprints weren't forgotten. Galton pops up again. He wrote his own paper on fingerprints and then followed it up with three books. Now, Galton estimated the probability of two persons having the same fingerprint, and he wrote about the techniques of identifying common patterns in print of the common patterns in fingerprints. He even devised the classification system that survives to this day. Now, we now know that Foles provided that first scientific footing for the study through his letter to Darwin, but Galton never gave him any credit. Foles died in Staffordshire in March 1930 at the age of 86. He was very bitter at the lack of recognition he had received for his work. But we haven't forgotten him and his genius lives on.